How's it going everybody? Martin with Bellevue Auto Spa back again today. Um, highly anticipated product. I have not seen a review done on it yet. Uh, Adams Graphene Ceramic Spray Coating Advanced. Uh, this was recently released along with their uh, regular ceramic or graphene ceramic coating advanced version. Um, this is the bottle I got about a year ago. Um, this is what they sent when they should have sent this, so this is just an extra. Um, so I've got, I've got you know a few bottles here. Um, basically, the difference between these two, or between the original and the advanced, from what I understand, is this has a higher uh, content of solids, whether that's graphene or ceramic or both. Um, and you definitely notice it. Now when I apply this, this feels like I'm applying, I don't know, any other spray. Like I don't really feel it on the surface. It definitely feels slicker and you see the hydrophobic performance, but it's, it's nothing in, incredibly noticeable and the slickness tends to wear away qu quickly uh, as far as I notice. Now this one when I was applying it felt like I was applying a layer of liquid glass. Um, I was definitely impressed by the application of this. It felt noticeably slicker um, it really felt like it was laying down some some real protection compared to this so I applied them both to uh, my test panel um, and I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison and we're gonna run it through a torture test of various chemicals to see how this holds up compared to the old version so real quick um, just so we can see the instructions here see the directions for use of both of them Is that the directions? No, it's not. Where are the directions? Oh, there are the directions. Sorry about that. Okay. So they have both, uh, I did, I applied these both yesterday, so they've been sitting here for an entire day. Uh, it says allow four hour cure time. Um, I looked to see if there's like, you know, like a one week cure time or anything like with a normal ceramic coating. I couldn't find any information on that. All I've seen uh, from what I could find on their site and from Adam's reps in the group was give it at least four to six hours and you're good to go. Uh, so we gave it plenty of time past that. So I think we're going to be good to go. So let's go ahead and get started on this test and we'll see how it holds up. All right, so we got the new on the left side, old on the right side. Uh, you can kind of see the tape line there. So we're going to run it through our normal gauntlet of chemicals and uh, wash it with CarPro Reset first and then wash it with CarPro Reset between each round just to make sure that uh, we've got all the chemical off. So hopefully the tape doesn't come off. If it does, whatever, not a big deal. So let's first just start by seeing how it looks. Very good water behavior. Uh, it's kind of what I expect from graphene products. They got those nice big fat water beads instead of uh, the smaller, the little tiny ones you see from your typical ceramic coating. And then if we flood the panel, let's see what we get. All right. So we're going to wash it with Car Pro Reset and then we'll see how it does after that and we'll start hitting it with the chemicals. Alright. We've got some Car Pro Reset on this microfiber towel. Just kind of mix it around so it starts to suds up. You can see it rejects the car soap pretty well. That's definitely a good sign. So yeah, I handled reset no problem. So let's go to our first chemical, which is going to be, or I guess technically our second chemical, 
uh, 3D beat it up, or why do I always say that? 3D BD, BDX. Uh, this is a iron remover. Doesn't really reject. Oh man, this stinks. Doesn't really reject the iron remover much. It kind of does. It's starting to beat it up, but let's wipe it in. That is not a pleasant smell at all. Oh man. Rinse. I'm going to wash the three set again. I live in the path of a runway for an airport, so it's a lot of fun. Airplanes fly over at all the time, interrupt the recording. Anyways. Still rejecting it pretty good. Handle that like it was nothing. Let's go to our next chemical. purpose cleaner. This is a 3D orange degreaser. I guess it's a degreaser slash APC. It's not a very strong one compared to some others. So. Really get it in there. So far, so good. Neither of them are uh, really showing any signs of weakness, but of course I'm going to wash it. Make sure it's not just the chemical causing that. And that's the actual coating. Spray coating. Yeah, I know it's not a legit coating, guys. I apply coatings. Car Pro normally. And yeah, I didn't really think that was going to do much. All right, next up, Purple Power in the Advanced Auto Parts Sprayer. This is full strength. Purple Power is a pretty powerful degreaser. Anyone's ever, ever used it, this stuff will take oil and muck off of almost anything. So it really is going to load it up on there.
even that didn't really do much so so far so good this stuff's working out pretty well even the old formula all right next up we have Meguiar's non-acid wheel and tire cleaner I like to think this is a little bit stronger than purple power because this is just meant for cleaning <coughs> excuse me cleaning uh brake dust and rubber mainly but you can use this a lot of people use wheel and tire cleaners as like engine degreasers and such because they do a really good job i guess i'm gonna really load it on there Not holding back at all. Man, I don't know if we're going to be able to kill this stuff off. Let's go ahead and wash it. This is just taking these chemicals like it's nothing. So we're going to have to step up to the big boys. Uh, so from here on out, we'll just be doing multiple rounds of Meguiar's Wheel Brightener Acid Wheel Cleaner. Mixed at about a uh, 2 to 1 to 3 to 1 dilution. Now this chemical... Uh, <laughs> usually does a good job. If it's not stripping stuff off, it breaks it down really well, so. I imagine it'll work pretty good at starting to break this down. Thought we were starting to see something there. Let's wash it. Notice the beads aren't as round anymore. Starting to change shape. That's a sign it's starting to break down. You can see on that tape line. Yeah, those are both still, still doing pretty good. Um, if I didn't know what was on here, I'd think it was a ceramic coating. But let's go ahead and do uh, another round of 
wheel acid. If this doesn't do it, um, I'll go ahead and get a uh, solvent out here and we'll see how that does. Starting to see some change in uh, change in motor behavior. I don't know. What do you think? Still both performing about the same. Decent beads. Good water sheeting. So let me go ahead and uh, I'm going to grab Tar X, which is a solvent, and uh, we're going to see if we can finally make a, make a difference on here. All right, so CarPro Tar X, which is a powerful tar and adhesive remover because it is a solvent, not water based. Let that sit there. grab a fresh non-contaminated towel now keep in mind because this doesn't uh, dissolve in water it does seem like the water is beating um, but that's why we're gonna wash it as well because it leaves like a film on the surface as you can see that like hazy film and that's from the solvent it smells like citrus though which is nice Yeah, rinsing doesn't really do much to this stuff. Let's wash it off. Gotta use soap. Yeah, I think that definitely put a dent in it, noticeably. Yeah, definitely. Still beads water if you missed it on, and rainfall. 
Uh, we can see the beads are, they're not round anymore, so there's less hydrophobic properties of the uh, coating. It's starting to break down, so as the beads start to flatten out, it means the, the surface is becoming more hydrophilic. And we can see it's still, you know, it's quickly sheeting. It's not fast sheeting anymore, but it's still pretty good. Keep in mind, you know, that's at a lower angle, so it's going to sheet faster. But yeah, um, honestly, they're still both performing the same, so. Uh, what do you guys think? Which one is one of them performing better than the other? Uh, and don't pay attention down there because the coating is not actually down there. It ends off at about right here. So one more time, we'll just... All right, yeah, guys. I'm not gonna go any more rounds because um, it's just gonna take forever. So I completely kill it off. So I think we got a good uh, demonstration of how effective it is so let's go in for our final thoughts all right guys now that stuff held on for a long time now i did apply the newer bottle because uh, i wanted to give it a fair chance this one's about a year old so i didn't want to kind of you know i wanted to give it a fair chance basically you know they're both manufactured likely close to the same date so um you know and all i'm getting from this basically the same thing that uh the people from adam said is uh the I don't know if they said the, the, the durability. Yeah, they said the durability of, of both, you know, this and these are the same. So I'll just put that in there. So I don't even notice it. But the durability is the, is the same. Um, you know, it's the same product overall. Um, now, where it changes is the longevity. Uh, this is supposed to last a lot longer. Um, as far as how hard it is to apply, it's not really hard to apply at all. Um, so I would just say definitely, you know, go go with this one. This one's going to be a lot better. And uh, I'll put a link to it in the description below if you're interested in buying either of these. Um, as well as the rest of their graphene products might as well. they got a whole graphene line. They've got a uh, detail spray. They've got soap. They've got the actual coatings. They've got a uh, waterless wash product with graphene in it. Tire shine. Um, Adams is, is graphening everything. They're leading the way with the uh, consumer graphene market. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, that's all the testing I'm going to do for this. Uh, unless you got some good good ideas for me, leave a comment with your great idea. Let me know. Just let me know what kind of what kind of things you think would be interesting, and I'll see if I can accommodate that. Um, but if you enjoyed, enjoyed the video, excuse me, give it a thumbs up, and appreciate your time and everybody watching. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.